You get into an accident, you have car trouble, anything like that, and you have to get out of your vehicle, it is not pleasant to be outside at all. Bordner Home Improvement City Cam, you're looking at I-70 right now. Appears to be moving along at a slow, but at least it's a steady pace by the stadiums. These are wind chill temperatures, 8 below Kansas City, 11 below St. Joe. Areas from Blue Springs to Lee Summit and over towards Grandview, it's all 10 degrees below zero there right now. Eight above with a little bit of light snow, more, more than likely just flurries. We'll maintain a pretty steady pace all the way through about 11 o'clock and we'll keep it above zero tonight. Waking up to three by nine o'clock, four single digits at lunchtime. If we're really lucky on Tuesday, we'll hit double digits for a few hours during the late evening hours. But look at the wind chill. This is a 10 mile an hour wind that'll give us an 18 below reading at seven, 15 below at nine. We should go to single digits below zero in the afternoon, but notice we're below zero all day because of that. That area here, that's a wind chill advisory. This is a winter weather advisory. Notice there's not a lot of precipitation. That's what's really deceiving about this. You look outside, you say there's nothing going on. You get in your car and you go, oh, there's something going on all right. That fine little mist is hitting windshields and sticking, reducing your visibilities. Same thing is happening to the roadways. It's not much. It is just a sliver of precipitation, but that's enough to give us some really slippery conditions. And again, you're looking at the advisories here. Wind chill advisory starts at midnight, goes till 9 a.m. tomorrow. Winter weather advisory will be allowed to expire at 9. Forecast track, I don't see a lot of precip here, but again, we don't have much today either. A little bit of light snow on Wednesday. Maybe a flurry or two to follow that. So again, the snow depth isn't what's going to be a big deal here. In fact, most areas see less than an inch outside of this exception just south of I-70. So again, snow is not a huge deal, but the bitter cold air will be. Check it out. Your Security Bank 7-day forecast has a flurry chances through the end of the week and the start of the weekend. Look how much colder the air gets by the weekend. High temperature, 3 and 4. Low temperatures below zero. How about Monday of next week? Minus 10. Now let's look at the duration of this long and really deep cold snap. These are high temperatures, by the way. Many of these mornings, especially when you see the numbers here for highs, will be below zero each morning. So this extends all the way out until next Tuesday. But I'll give you a little hint here. That cold snap goes well beyond next Tuesday. In fact, Carolyn, it may cover the majority of next week. Not only that, but we're possibly setting record low temperatures over the coming days as well. I'll tell you which days are most likely for that to happen as well. Coming up in the next 30 minutes. All right. Thanks, Gary. What did we do to deserve this? <laughs> Good.